Have you ever stopped to marvel at the raw, unbridled power of nature and the havoc it can wreak when it unleashes its fury? This is the question we find ourselves asking when we witness the incredible force of hurricanes and typhoons. These weather events are not just storms, they are breathtaking displays of nature's power, capable of altering landscapes, changing lives, and shaping history. Hurricanes and typhoons, while named differently based on their geographical occurrence, share a common identity. They are storm systems with winds exceeding 74 miles per hour, spiraling around a calm, eerily quiet center known as the eye. Hurricanes grace the North Atlantic Ocean and Northeast Pacific, while typhoons make their presence known in the Northwestern Pacific Ocean. These cyclonic wonders owe their birth to warm ocean waters near the equator. The warm air rises, creating an area of lower air pressure underneath. This empty space then gets filled by more air, creating a cycle of rising and falling air that spins and intensifies. But what causes these storms to intensify so rapidly? The answer lies in two crucial factors, weak upper level winds and warm ocean water that extends deep below the surface. Recent studies have shown an alarming increase in the rapid intensification of these storms, particularly the strongest ones. The culprit, climate change. Our planet's warming oceans, a consequence of human activities, provide more energy for these hurricanes and typhoons to feed on and strengthen. This phenomenon is rare, occurring in only about 6% of forecast periods, but when it does happen, the results can be catastrophic. Some of the most devastating hurricanes and typhoons in recent years have rapidly intensified right before making landfall, leaving little time for preparation. Now that we understand the formidable might of these natural phenomena, let's delve into the chronicles of the most devastating hurricane and typhoon ever recorded. Hurricane Ian, a name that sends chills down the spines of those who witnessed its wrath. This monstrous force of nature began its life as a mere tropical disturbance, forming over the warm waters of the Atlantic. As it journeyed westward, it fed off the energy of the ocean, growing stronger, becoming a tropical storm, and then a hurricane. The hurricane rapidly intensified, transforming from a Category 3 to a formidable Category 4 in less than three hours. This phenomenon, known as rapid intensification, is a rare occurrence, happening in just about 6% of forecast periods. But with the climate crisis escalating, it's becoming more likely. The warmer ocean temperatures resulting from human activity provide more energy for hurricanes to harness, allowing for faster and more intense growth. When Hurricane Ian made landfall, it unleashed a torrent of destruction. Buildings crumbled under the sheer force of the winds, trees were uprooted, and entire communities were swallowed by storm surges. The aftermath was nothing short of apocalyptic, with lives lost, homes destroyed, and cities plunged into darkness. The devastation of Hurricane Ian serves as a stark reminder of the lethal power of nature, but it also highlights the role of climate change in fueling more intense storms. With warmer ocean temperatures and weaker upper-level winds, conditions are ripe for hurricanes to rapidly intensify. This is not just a problem for the future, it's happening now. Recent studies have shown an increase in the rapid intensification of Atlantic hurricanes, particularly the most powerful ones. In the face of such destructive forces, preparation and accurate forecasting are our best defenses. Thankfully, advancements in technology and improved computer models are helping us predict these rapid intensifications better, providing us with more time to prepare and hopefully save lives. Hurricane Ian, a stark reminder of the lethal power that nature holds. But what about the other side of the world? What about typhoons? The name Typhoon Noru echoes with a similar dread in the regions that bore its brunt. Spawned in the warm waters of the Pacific, this storm system rapidly intensified into a super typhoon, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. Typhoon Noru, like its brethren storms, began as a tropical disturbance near the equator. The warm ocean waters fueled its growth, and as the storm system rotated faster, an eye formed in the center, marking its transition into a typhoon. The timing was during the peak of typhoon season, between May to October, when conditions are most favorable for such formidable storms to form. The destruction wrought by Typhoon Noru was unimaginable. The powerful winds exceeding 157 miles per hour, uprooted trees, 
tore roofs off buildings and sent debris flying like deadly projectiles. The storm surge, a wall of water pushed ashore by the typhoon, flooded coastal areas, submerging homes and infrastructure. The human toll was equally devastating, with loss of life and displacement of communities. In the aftermath of Typhoon Noru, the resilience of the human spirit was tested. Recovery efforts were immense, as communities worked tirelessly to rebuild their homes and lives from the ruins left by the typhoon. The event served as a stark reminder of the increasing intensity of such storms, fueled by the warming of the oceans due to climate change. Recent studies have shown that the rapid intensification of typhoons, particularly the strongest ones, is on the rise. This phenomenon, driven by human-induced climate change, provides more energy for these storms to strengthen. The devastating impact of Typhoon Noru underscores the urgent need for action to mitigate the effects of climate change. Typhoon Noru, another testament to the dread-inspiring might of nature. But what can we do in the face of such overwhelming power? In the wake of such disasters, we are left to pick up the pieces, to rebuild, and to learn. The aftermath of these catastrophic events is a testament to the indomitable spirit of human resilience. Entire communities, devastated and shattered, rise from the ashes, dusting off the debris of destruction to rebuild their lives. Homes are reconstructed, infrastructure is restored, and lives are slowly pieced back together. But the scars of the storm linger, a silent reminder of the raw and ruthless power of nature. In the face of these calamities, we are forced to acknowledge our vulnerability. But it is in these moments of helplessness that we find our strength, that we learn from our experiences and use them to fortify ourselves against future storms. One of the valuable lessons gleaned from these disasters is the critical role of accurate and timely forecasts. The ability to predict the path and intensity of these storms can make a significant difference in minimizing damage and loss of life. As Hurricane Ian rapidly intensified from a Category 3 to a strong Category 4 in less than three hours, it underscored the importance of rapid intensification forecasts. Improved computer models are another essential tool in our arsenal. These complex algorithms simulate weather patterns, helping us to understand how storms evolve and intensify. This knowledge is key in giving us more time to prepare, to evacuate if necessary, and to brace ourselves for the impact. But forecasts and models are not enough. We must also heed the lessons of climate change. The warming of our oceans, a direct consequence of human activities, is fueling the ferocity of these storms. It is imperative that we address this issue not just for the sake of our generation, but for those who will inherit this earth from us. In the face of such destructive power, we learn, we adapt, and we prepare for the future. As we reckon with the reality of these devastating storms, let us not forget that our greatest weapon is knowledge, and our greatest strength lies in our ability to change, to learn from our past, and to build a more resilient future. As we stand in awe of the power of nature, we must also acknowledge our role in its growing fury. The magnitude of destruction brought by the most devastating hurricane and typhoon in history is a stark reminder of the immense power that nature wields. These catastrophes, while terrifying, are not random acts of a wrathful planet. They are, in many ways, a reflection of our own actions. Our world is a complex system, a delicate balance of forces. Changes in one area can have far-reaching impacts in another. Nowhere is this more apparent than in the intensifying strength of hurricanes and typhoons. These storm systems, powered by warm ocean waters, are becoming more fierce and erratic due to the warming of our planet, a consequence of human-induced climate change. Rapid intensification, a phenomenon once rare, is now becoming more common. Hurricanes like Ian, strengthening from a Category 3 to a Category 4 in less than three hours, are becoming the new norm. This escalation in intensity is not limited to hurricanes alone. The most devastating typhoons, like Super Typhoon Noru and Typhoon Hinamnor, have all shown similar patterns. These patterns are not just numbers on a scale. They represent the devastation that affects real people real communities. The increased intensity and frequency of these storms mean more destruction, more loss, and more despair. They are a stark reminder of the price we pay for our actions, a price that is paid by the most vulnerable among us. Yet, even in the face of such adversity, there is hope. 
we have the power to mitigate the impacts of climate change. Through collective action, we can reduce our carbon footprints, advocate for sustainable practices, and work towards a future where nature's fury is not amplified by our actions. Nature is a force to be reckoned with, and as we bear the brunt of its fury, we must also bear the responsibility of our actions. Together, we can make a difference. So that's all from Discovery Wonder. See you next time, and follow the channel.